shies away from tight window throws, has confidence and consistency issues, delivery is labored, and struggles to avoid rushers. That's where scouts were saying about Brock Purdy before being selected 262nd overall in the 2022 NFL Draft. But here we are now, MVP candidate, humble winner. Let's dive right into defending Mr. Relevant. As we all know, Brock got a shot in week 13 last year against Miami after Jimmy Garoppolo got injured and he would go on to win the game. And the next one, the next, and the next. Take the lead and Brock Purdy off of the bench as his first NFL touchdown. Until he started 8-0, including the playoffs. He got hurt in the NFC Championship game against Philly, where the team would lose. But throughout his rookie campaign, people wondered if Mr. Relevant was just a product of a great team and coach. That carried through his entire second season. The biggest narrative against second-year quarterback, with a record of 24-6, including playoffs, is that he's a checkdown merchant, a game manager, a product of the best system in the league, and to some, a bum. CMC, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, and Kyle Shanahan to carry him. Even former NFL players say this stuff about him. How does it hit you, though, when you're referred to as a game manager? I think it's sort of funny, just because, you know, we're winning. There is one common factor on this 49ers team, and it's that a lot of these guys on offense are having career years. And it has to do with how gutsy and smart Brock Purdy is as an NFL quarterback. One of his greatest skills is his ability to throw the ball over someone into tight windows, which was one of his weaknesses according to scouts before the draft. Whether it is over a linebacker or placing it in a spot where only Brandon Ayuk can get it, those two connect so well deep over the middle and on the outside as well. There was one throw against Cincinnati to George Kittle. The 49ers had the ball inside their own five, and he fit it over a linebacker and right between two safeties for Kittle to gain about 34 yards. And don't worry guys, the only yards after catching that play was Kittle falling forward about two yards after being hit. While Purdy doesn't have the strongest arm in the NFL, his ability to sling balls into insanely tight windows is surreal. Sometimes though, it is stuff that seems simple, like throwing the ball to a place that does not lead the receiver to a defender, or right on the sideline, like I throw to use check on the Lions game. Some quarterbacks still mess up those simple things all the time. He has a gunslinger mentality, and nobody wants to acknowledge how much he has improved with his mentals and ability. Speaking of his mentality, his ability to see the field is his best ability. Even according to head coach Kyle Shanahan, he has developed this skill since coming into the league as he did not show much at Iowa State. I think this skill that has been helped by the talent around him, and he knows how they all run their routes and where they'll end up on specific routes so we can get the ball to exactly where it needs to go after going through, reading the entire field, and his timing with these receivers is impeccable. Now, one thing that Brock does that if you're a young quarterback, never, never do this, is he throws across the field. But for some reason it works. That's because of his ability to read the field. You will constantly see him go through his first, second, and third read before returning to make a throw, confirming that he will make the right choice. Like that touchdown to Brandon Ayuk against Jacksonville, which everyone was like, Brock, why'd you do that? But it worked. Sometimes it's luck, though. Talked about Brock Purdy and letting it rip and doing some things that will just make coaches have gray hair. This is rule number one. Don't scramble left, throw back into the middle of the field to the right. Because the ball is going to get intercepted. There's four guys there. I don't know how he gets that ball to Brandon Ayuk. Brock's ability to read the field is especially evident against the Blitz, where he's statistically the best quarterback in the league. His pocket presence and field vision are the biggest factors for this. He slightly evades pressure. Other times blatantly rolling out, most time just stepping right into it. Like that touchdown to George Kittle against the Jaguars. Yeah, that's what I got from watching the film on Brock. But here's where he ranks in regards to other quarterbacks. He is 6th in the NFL in PFF grade, 1st in EPA per play, 1st in success rate, 1st in completion percentage over expected, 8th in average depth of target, 5th in passing yards, 3rd in touchdowns, 1st in touchdown percentage, and led the league in passer rating. And to all of you claiming he's a yak merchant, that's why these stats look elite, he is 16th in yak percentage, and a big part of yards after catch is based on the quarterback putting the ball in the right spot to the right read so they have a chance to make a bigger play than just where the ball is caught. So stop acting like yards after catch is a bad stat for quarterbacks. You can tell that the way Brock Purdy has been playing, he's just been an elite man. 
regarding numbers and his actual skill development even from last year to this year, never mind from college to now, Brock Purdy is really just a humble, good quarterback and a lot of people don't want to accept it. A lot of it has to do with his draft position. He's a natural born winner. He has the most wins in Iowa State's history. He has the highest win percentage of any quarterback in the NFL today. He's been to the NFC Championship twice and is already in the Super Bowl in his second season. How many quarterbacks do you think can say that? I hope we can all recognize that Mr. Relevant deserves the respect of everyone in the national media. And with all that being said, that is it for me, guys. Thank you for tuning into Fanatic Sports. If you made it this far in the video, come on, just give it a like and subscribe to the channel. All support is very much appreciated. Helps me out more than you know. Also, follow me on Instagram at Fanatic Sports 25, Twitter at Fanatic Sports, and TikTok where I'm most active at Fanatic Sports. Again, this is Joe of Fanatic Sports signing off.